Hi there, this is Sean McGowan, and uh, I just played an original composition titled August. Uh, this is a song that I wrote many years ago that really celebrates the season of summer, and uh, it's a song that I like to start off with usually improvising around the key of A major. Um, so the version that I just played, there was a lot of improvising up front before I go into tempo, and um, there's a thematic element to it that I really like, this sort of, you know... that quickly explores other keys and tonalities, which is something that I like to do being primarily a jazz musician. Uh, but so when I, when I compose or perform uh, acoustic fingerstyle pieces, I really like to incorporate those harmonic sensibilities. It doesn't necessarily have to sound like jazz per se, but um, it's nice to explore different tonal centers. And so that's something that I like to do in a lot of my original music. So this is meant to be a, kind of a happy, jubilant uh, piece. And uh, one technique that you'll see me play uh, in this piece and others is uh, an extended fretting technique and it's kind of a cool device that you can get into but essentially what it is is using your picking hand to actually fret a note on the neck and to pluck it with either the thumb or the pinky um, of the picking hand and that way it doesn't sound like uh, an alternate technique like tapping or, or slapping or anything like that. It's kind of folded into the chord voicing itself. So let me just give you a quick demonstration. If we were to play maybe just a B minor 7 chord, and then maybe I wanted to hear a high C sharp on top, well I just wouldn't be able to play that with one with one hand because the C sharp is up here. So what we can do instead is uh, play that note with the index finger of your picking hand and now if we were to arpeggiate the notes in the chord, we have this. But the texture sounds just like this. So it sounds like you're strum strumming through the strings, uh, but you're just kind of sneaking this in there. And the only way that you would ever know that it was an extended fretting technique is if you saw some, you know, if you saw me do it or, or if somebody saw you do it. And um, it's much less abrasive than, you know, tapping something like that, that has its place, but it's just sometimes it interrupts the flow of the music. So I prefer to use fretting, and not only can you strum with the thumb like I just did, but you can also arpeggio uh, the lower notes with the thumb, arpeggiate them, and then follow that up with a pinky, doing an upstroke for the high note. So that's a really cool technique that uh, I use quite a bit throughout August, and it's something that I hope that you enjoy exploring on your own. Today I'm fortunate enough to play this beautiful OM style guitar by Dana Bourgeois and uh, the Bourgeois team in Maine, uh, and I'm a Maine native, so there's a connection there, and I just love this guitar. This is a beautiful, this is the Bourgeois uh, OM cutaway model. And uh, so it's the same It's the same body shape as a traditional OM, same scale length and everything, but with this nice cutaway that allows access uh, to the entire range of the instrument, which I really need. And uh, this is their Style 42 model, which is a beautifully ornate, but I, I would also say tastefully ornate model. Um, it has just this incredible binding, lots of... Um, lots of attention to detail. This particular guitar has a very special uh, white spruce top. This, this comes from the Sierra Nevadas. And uh, the back of this guitar is just exquisite. It looks a lot like koa wood, but this is actually uh, Tasmanian black wood, um, which is just a really cool, beautiful, kind of a three-dimensional um, grain of this wood. And um, it has this really nice signature uh, stripe up the middle, um, the herringbone, and just very nice, very well appointed, um, but of course, what what matters most to me is the sound, and it just has a, this gorgeous tone. It's a very it sounds like a singer, I think. Um, it's it's a very loud guitar for a small body guitar. It's super light and easy to play. But um, whether you're playing finger style or flat picking, it's, it's it projects just like a dread. So it's a pretty awesome instrument. So I'd like to thank uh, Dana Bourgeois and the and the team back in Maine for uh, letting me borrow this for the sessions.
So this is sort of my ode to the seasons. And uh, this one uh, is a song that celebrates the change of seasons into fall, that beautiful melancholy time of the year. And so to that end, this song um, is is slow. It's, it's really, um, it's meant to be men- melancholy. But as with August, um, I really like exploring a lot of different tonal centers. So there's a few different melodic themes throughout this. Um, and it starts off in C. And it's really in C minor, but I don't quite get to the, the flat third. I didn't want to just start off with, because then all of a sudden it's too dark or giving too much information away. So a lot of times I'll try to use voicings that are a little more sparse to keep you guessing. And you don't really know if it's going to be major or minor. <laughs> until you hit the second chord. And there it is. Now it's establishing it in the key of C minor, or this first part anyway. But when you fold it into a different chord, it's not quite as abrupt. A lot of repeating the themes, you know, this kind of thing again. So a lot of times when I'm uh, composing a melody, I'll have the melody and I'll keep it very simple and, and lyrical, hopefully with the idea that you know somebody would like to sing it, and then um, I'll harmonize that in different ways and, and, and hopefully in, in surprising and, and interesting ways to listen to, just as if I were playing with a singer and he or she would be playing that melody that we know to a jazz standard, for example. But um, if it works with the melody, sometimes I'll explore harmonizing that with different chords just to give us some different colors and to take the listener on a, a little journey and, and tell a story with a song. So that's something that I try to uh, go for, whether I'm accompanying somebody on a jazz uh, standard on a gig or whether I'm uh, composing uh, for acoustic guitar. So this one uh, gradually ends up in A minor for a minute and goes through a different cycle through that and then finally returns home uh, to the key of C. But it ends off um, with a nice four minor chord with this F. And this song also features some extended fretting as well as some artificial harmonics. So I hope you enjoy those performances.